Hello guys, how's it going? It's been two weeks since the last time I talked to you all. So today I have a very short tutorial for you um, on how to make Fordite. What is Fordite? Fordite is basically a mineral from Detroit. And then this mineral was actually created by uh, putting layers of paint on top of each other back in the 20s and 30s in Ford manufacturing companies uh, when they used to paint cars with hand. Um, so now, nowadays they make jewelry out of it, they make I don't know, earrings, rings, cool stuff out of it. So I was like, hmm, maybe I can do a material study about it on Keyshot. Now this uh, material is similar to the Damascus material that I did a while ago, but it was kind of fun, I wanted to do it, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the Fortnite. As you can see, there is not a following pattern, really, it's just like, uh, random layers of color on top of each other and it really depends on how they cut it and this is like the jewelry that I was telling you about um, so let's go to key shot and as you can see I have my four night rocks here and I have one uh, flat here so we're just gonna work on this one we double click on it we go to material graph and we change the flat to plastic because paint is plastic and the roughness should be zero because uh, it's it's quite shiny so I'm just gonna keep it at zero and the next thing I want to do, or we want to do, we should go to, where is it? We should go to textures and color gradient. Now, let me move my rocks. And now, uh, we connect the color gradient to diffuse. We double click on it. As you can see, we have um, white and black. We want to add like, I don't know, like at least five different colors to it. So we're just going to do that, we just double click on our color gradient bar here, and then we do it again, and we do it again, and we do it again, and I, I think that sh that many colors should be fine for now. Obviously you can <clears throat> play with it if you want to, and uh, let's see. Okay, so we're not going to change uh, the gradient type here, because we're going to add a um, map to it. And now, so we're just going to change the colors. Uh, let's, white is fine. And then, like, this one, red is fine. And maybe some color like that. And this one should be bluish, maybe, perhaps. <clears throat> and yellow, maybe. And we're going to keep it black. And we're going to uncheck blend, because we want the layers to show. We don't want them to uh, be blended together. And we're just going to move the colors around a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're just going to uh, check repeat. And as you can see, we have something here. I do not like the colors. I think they need to be like darker a little bit. Okay. Uh, the red pinkish one, I think that one also has to be darker. Uh, this one can be lighter, perhaps. Um, it's really up to you. You can just do different colors if you want to. And then we want to connect a map to our color gradient. So I tried like a bunch of different textures, and I realized that marble <clears throat> works the best with color gradient. So I'm just going to uh, connect marble to map. And as you can see, we already have our uh, Fordite looking thing. <clears throat> so we're just going to double click on it. We can play with the scale. Um, we're just going to like increase it a little bit. Um, the vein thickness, vein nose um, scale. So vein is just basically um, the the lines on, on the marble. So if you click on it and then press C, you can see that like our vein is pretty thick. Um, so the color gradient is actually the fall off of the vein. Um, it's like applying the color gradient to the fall off. Uh, so vein thickness, you can obviously play with it. Vein noise. Uh, I figured if we, uh, I think, I think we should decrease this. Yep. Yeah. If we decrease this uh, vein nose, it'll look more radial. It doesn't look as angular and as like edgy looking. Um, so we're also gonna increase that. And the bump height, we can leave it at zero because we don't want any bumps. And I'm gonna. Hmm, I think I should decrease it. Okay, uh, we're gonna decrease it then. Uh, let's keep it at 200, and bump height zero, vein thickness, play with it a little bit, and then we're just gonna 
rotate it a little bit. Uh, where is the uh, here? Just gonna rotate this a little bit. I'm just gonna turn on my performance mode, and I believe it looks it looks good to an extent. And then that's it. That's basically it. Whenever uh, you achieved what you were looking for, you just close it. And then here I used this uh, rock pack material from uh, the Keyshell Cloud Library. And as a, as a as a bonus tip, I will also want to show you this new feature that comes with Keyshell 10.1. So I'm just going to turn off my performance mode. I am going to select all my rocks. I can just select this one. Um, where is the, uh, yeah. I'm going to go global and I'm going to select this if I can. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and then, uh, as you can see, I had this like really cool effect going on without I, 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 did, I didn't uh, really move all those rocks, I just like used the new cell uh, feature that Keyshot 10.1 10 has. So I'm just gonna, well, actually, I'm just gonna. Uh, click OK, and then for that you can't select the group. The yeah, the group. They have you have to like select them individually. So we're just gonna hold Shift and we'll select all of them. And we're gonna go to Move Tool. Uh, we can rotate it, for example. And that's and that's fine. And then we're gonna uh, turn on collision so that they won't go into each other. They're actually on, they, they will be on top of each other or like next to each other. And then we're just gonna click sell. And that's it. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy. Um, that's it. And then you can go to camera, you can play with your you know, these uh, the exposure and stuff, you go to environments, you change your environment, and I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial. I I personally like this for that looking material. And I think I'm going to use it somewhere, anywhere, in my scene. And, guys, let me know if you have any questions. And let me know if you want to see a tutorial on Keyshot for next week, and I'll try to do it. And that's it. Thank you so much, and have a good day.